You said let's jump on the bus and take a ride down. Who does all the hard work? Well, I me. don't know about that. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. We have the whole day now just to ourselves so we can clean the house or clear out some shelves. You said whichever you feel like doing first, I said, well. So guys, we're staying at this amazing little marina in the Mar Menor in Murcia. And for the first week we were out at anchor and it's absolutely beautiful. It's completely protected. You go in under a bridge and you're basically in a massive lagoon. So you can pretty much anchor anywhere, um, super safe, no waves. So we were staying out there and we happened to come in because my parents were coming and we were kind of debating whether to go in because we didn't really need to. We were very protected out there. But it was basically more for our parent, for my parents, um, just stepping on and off the boat. So we ended up coming in, We've just kind of been enjoying time with family and then doing a bunch of boat works, getting ready for our next big crossing. So uh, yeah, let me show you. We've actually got carpet. Uh, so we did the whole place basically with carpet and it looks great. We also changed the bedding in here. So we actually bought some foam mattresses and changed that up. It's a bit messy at the moment. And what else have we done? Oh, we changed we've changed the mattress. the mattress at the back there. And uh, we've actually got it turned around at the moment, but it's a really cool one. That's so comfortable. So much more comfortable oh. than the last one. And what else have we done? Whisker pole. Whisker pole. We already had the whisker pole, um, but now we've actually installed the new pad eyes. So this is where the one end of the whisker pole connect, and then it'll go out to the head sail. Uh, when we're sailing downwind, we're so excited. All our downwind sailing has been horrible, um, and now it's going to be amazing. So uh, we just want to send a massive shout out to Kenny. Um, you might remember him from Sea Dogs. He sadly sunk in. Uh, Formentera, but he donated this whisker pole to us and we are so grateful, mate. Thank you. Old dingo there. We're trying to fix him up for the next donor. Old ding is back with the new repairs. Not losing any water for now. Uh oh. Watch out. 360. 360. Are you going to put it on this side? You're going to have to now. <laughs> it's so clean. What? Oh, you got time now. The next morning we're in for a big surprise as our new tender finally arrives. Whoa. Red, what are you doing? Hey, well are you going to drive? Mm -hmm. Hey buddy. Well, why don't we use a little bit of YouTube magic and uh, put this thing back together. Whee! So as we've mentioned before, we've been having a lot of hesitations in the engine and we actually had to stop on our mm -hmm. way to Morthia here twice, which was really, really worrying. So um, we've been told we probably have a fuel bug. We've already cleaned one. This is essentially the filter it goes through when it sucks the diesel up. And it was black. It was completely black. It was black. It, we actually thought it was a black cloth wrapped around it or something. It was so yeah. bad. And this is all the stuff that came off it. I don't know if you can see it on the black bag there. That there's a ton of stuff. Like that kind of stuff. What are you off to do? I'm going up the mast to take off the wind vane because it hasn't worked for four months. While James goes up the mast, someone has to pull him up. And I do all the hard work. Here we go. Here's our 
VHF, the Shakespeare squatty body. <laughs> Here's our mast lights, Windex, topping lift for the boom, and our rear stays. Now to the main job. So maybe we'll take this off first. Well, this is, I don't know why this is designed like this. So these rollers that these topping lifts can come over are recessed to a point where if you have any movement of your line left or right, it would be rubbing on this very sharp edge. And I could tell you for one thing, coming from a rock climbing background, that is a recipe for a broken line, a broken rope, whatever you want to call it, very quickly. There's such sharp edges here. Love your thoughts on this, guys, but... Well, it's a big day today, guys, because we got our new wind vane. It's finally come in. I had to order a new one. The, our other one just packed it in. It's unfortunate because it was brand new. It was like less than a year old, but... I don't know, we've been through a lot of lightning and who knows what else, so um, yeah, I'm going to go up the mast and change this bad boy now. Who's pulling you up the mast? You Me. are! <laughs> Who does all the hard work? Me! Good morning. Well, we've just woken up and we've been having a bit of wind the last two days with rain. Um, and down here in the south of Spain, we get uh, a little bit of that brown sand that comes over from Africa. And we didn't know just how bad it's been until now. And look at this. That is so brown. Oh my God. It is absolutely covered. I, I literally just washed this yesterday. <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> it is mental. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing today. I'm washing the boat. Ah, oh, this sucks. How's it going, James? Nearly done? What's up, Bobby? Are you nearly done? Well, just pretty close. Finishing off this area here and then, yeah, long day. Thanks. What's happening here? <laughs> Finally working on the doors after Nat's been uh, asking me to for ages. We've got the first door in. Ooh. Yeah. I'm just doing the other door now. I'm just charging my... <laughs> charging my drill and this piece here is for the center lock which will go like so James has a bit of a workstation going on here there's the old doors yeah then the mat for the cutting <laughs> That's one of the new doors there. And then this is the new door that he set up. Yeah. Wow. That's like a cover, so it's out there actually clear, but. Yeah. Yeah. Looks real good. Yeah. So the night kind of fell upon us, but James has just finished the doors. All right, show us. Uh, not 100% complete, but... Dun, dun, dun! And Pretty good! They open all the way. Uh, 
How excited are you, James? On a scale of one to ten, I'm like a twelve right now. <laughs> Power! Power! <laughs> It's battery day today. <laughs> oh, we've been needing to do this on Zephyr for so long. Um, when we were in the Caribbean fixing up Zephyr, we just bought some basic lead acid batteries that were, well, everything in the chandleries is twice as expensive because it's marine. So we finally made the upgrade to some AGM batteries and they're larger than our other batteries. Our other batteries are 105 amp hours. These are 150 each. So, and their AGM deep cycle. So power should be profoundly better on Zephyr and it's been so bad lately, hasn't it? Like yeah. our fridge basically doesn't run at night anymore. No, so. no fridge. So we're pretty darn excited and these are actually specifically designed to work very well with solar. So I don't know how, but they do. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay. So today is an awesome day. It's new battery day. Let's go get them. Open Come. it up. Kitchen knife. This is what, the third one? Third one, yeah. Got the hardware. And the software. <laughs> and. Oh. Wow. That's our battery there. AGM, 150 amp hour. So. Very nice. Yeah. That's it, batteries are in. It's looking pretty sweet, I gotta say. So now, it's fired up. I think I got everything connected, so. There we go. Hopefully no fireworks. 13.4 volts. Look at that. That is incredible. When was the last time you saw a rainbow that perfect? Never, I don't think. I don't think I've ever... I've never seen an entire one either. Like, exactly like that. That is incredible. <laughs> the colors are, like, so well-defined, too. So we've just been for a shop, haven't we? We have. And, well, apart from a few kitchen utensils that we needed. Yeah. What else have we got, though? Chicken. Whisk. Yeah. Yeah, bit of food. We're gonna have fajitas for lunch, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah. And then. Dun dun dun! Oh. Nope. <laughs> We've got some Christmas lights. Woo! Because we are going to be on the boat for Christmas. Nat's got a little Santa hat. Yeah. And I mean little. Yeah. <laughs> uh, HP sauce, that's not Christmas. Either. No. They're just good. I've got a Santa hat. Yay. So that'll be good. We got a couple of little decorations for the boat. We got some Canadian style, a little moose. A moose, moose. The moose will be loose in the hoose. <laughs> and Nat picked this little one out, which is quite cute. Little yeah. one that can sit like on the sit counter. Down. Yeah. That's quite cute. And what else do we got? I think that's it. Oh, that's all the decos? Yeah, we only got a couple decos. So. But we do have a small... We have a Christmas tree. We do. We have a small little Christmas tree about that tall, and we have some more Christmas lights. We have so. to get the Christmas tree out. Yeah, we will. All right. So, being Canadian, uh, Christmas is so important. So important to James. And so are fajitas. 
Okay, get cooking. Yeah. Join us next week as we make our final preparations before leaving the marina. So that's it. We're about to leave the marina. Yeah. We have the whole day now just to ourselves. So we, we pick up two Spanish stowaways and set sail out of the Mar Menor in Murcia. Let the adventures begin. First I said, well, I don't know about that. Cause it's my lazy day, just want to lazy away. Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day. You can try to seduce me. Make if you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content, and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons. Well, I don't know about